Heading fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. And all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Adam Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Adam Fog exclusive. Adam Fog, fog dog, subscribe now. Morning. Good morning. It's a lovely day here in Flag. It's actually the first time it's rained while we've been here. So, you know, made it nearly two weeks. It's finally come. No snow though, so it could be worse. I feel like snow would be better. Would it? Yeah, it'd be like be drier. Up. Yeah, true, yeah. true, yeah. It was kind of nice out here. Yeah. Ah! How are you, Alex? Doing well. Um, another double threshold day? Just another double threshold day. Are you excited for it? Super excited. Uh, cross coming up? 2K. Cross coming up. Wow. Kind of soon, honestly. Yeah. yeah. These things kind of tend to sneak up on you, but... 2K reps. Good, good fitness, 2K reps to get ready. Um, feeling, starting to feel pretty good. Uh, definitely feeling, turn a little corner. We'll see how the, how the day goes. Oh Could yeah. Go one of two ways. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, these nuggets? I thought that was a bug when you whipped it over like that. Oh, what the heck? Another double threshold day in lovely Flagstaff, Arizona. How are you going? Uh, How are you going? <laughs> Doing all right. I've got farm on when I went to Bindigo. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty pretty solid so far, which is a bold thing to say, like on the warm up. Um, but I got high hopes for this one. Um, we're starting at 520 pace or so through the mile on these 2K repeats, which I think is manageable. Um, but, you know, you know how it be. Final double threshold day on the mountain. We're joining in with these ladies. They're taking us through 2K reps. Um, it's an emotional one though. Final one out here in Flag. It's been a good, like, two weeks basically. Um, two weeks tomorrow that we've been up here. I leave in three. Three days, I think. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, three days, and I race in a week today. So, 2K reps on the agenda this morning. Um, the boys are doing up to five. I'm only doing three, just because racing in a week uh, and session this afternoon. So, keeping it a little bit light this morning. Um, but yeah, should be good. Sun's coming out. It was pretty rainy this morning, but uh, yeah. <laughs> How was it out there? The weather uh, took a turn for the worse. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, uh, once the opposition sent out the third wave, it was just kind of like, we're being, oh, excuse me, dang it, we're being overrun. <laughs> nah, uh, it was, <laughs> you can actually edit all of that out. Uh, it was solid, uh, four by 2K for me. We were hitting about five minute pace that last one, um, which is pretty good. Um, got a little grindy over the last, like, maybe 400 or so, but, um, you know, kind of name of the game on these lactate thresholds is to get to that threshold and not surpass it, which, you know, is a fine line. So, uh, cut it off at four. Um, you know, probably could have gridded out another one, but that's just not the purpose right now. Uh, right now, it's just 
get through the AM sessions feeling strong and then come back for the PM session, same thing, feel strong, like kind of two 85, 80% efforts for uh, in the day. And that's some pretty good work right there. Third session of your build. Third session of my life. Yeah. I mean, yeah, kind of. You were doing something a little different because uh, just one session today. Um, yeah, we did three by 2K with the boys. And you just did three by 2K today. Yeah. yeah? Three by 2K, five by 1200. Five by 1200 after. Oh, wow. Yeah, so 12K of work. Sheesh. How was it? Good. We did the 2Ks at like easy threshold and then the 1200s a little bit quicker. Nice. Like, I think 1200, or the, the 2Ks were like 5, 10 pace at Buffalo Park. And the 1200s were like 448 pace. Nice. What was your recovery on the 1200s? 90 jog. Oh, and 90 between 2Ks. Yeah, as 90 well. jog throughout. Yeah, that was good. Solid. I'm still just doing one session a day. Oh, like one session on the ground a day. I'll go to the pool tonight. Swim a little bit and then yeah cross country race coming up in what 12 days or something uh something yes like that. 12 days so that, that'll be my fifth workout that race <laughs> Action. how was your workout <laughs> oh it was all right thanks john thanks for asking yeah no it was uh it was solid this morning, pretty pretty relaxed overall. A um, little bit chilly, a little bit rainy, it looked like the sun was going to come out, um, and it kind of did at the start, and then it got kind of chilly and rainy again throughout, but it was fine, temperature was fine. Um, I just did 3 by 2 k uh, just under 6.40, and then I think the last one might have been just under 6.30, so kind of 3.20 down to... 315-ish per K on average, um, kind of 520 to 510, 515 per mile, something in that range. 90-second um, jog recovery and felt pretty decent. Uh, we're going to the track this afternoon and I'm racing a week today. Uh, I'm leaving Flagstaff in three days, so it's been a good couple of weeks up here. Um, but getting ready to race now, um, flying in three days and then racing three days after I get back, uh, the short course and then the long course. Cross country trials in England, trials for European cross champs. So yeah, solid morning, going to try this afternoon. Something a little bit different, I think, but we don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, session again in a few hours. Great John's breakfast. Um, and while you do that, I will show you these old Machinas are finally being retired. Uh, they've got close to 400 miles on them actually and they're still just about okay, but um, swapped into these freshies this morning. The upper is a little bit different and it was a real treat to be able to swap into some new ones. I got a couple of pairs of them and yeah, it was definitely needed. These will serve me well kind of over the next few months with high mileage and racing coming back as well. So. Goodbye, bees, and hello, freshies.
Mr. Bastin. How was it? Fog. What do you do? Two by mile and then ten or eleven? Eleven. Ooh. Ooh. One more than ten. Yeah. How did you feel? I felt pretty good. Better than, well, the first mile I felt terrible. But then, um, I suppose that's why we did it as a warm up. Mm. And the rest of it felt pretty good. Um, I think it was, yeah, probably the perfect effort for what we were looking for. So, yeah. It's another box. Pretty tired now. Looking forward to some dinner. Chef and Casey on the case. Chef Casey is cooking up. I think some kind of pasta tonight, so Ooh. that'll be a treat. What's on your mind, Bob? We have just made it back from the second of two workouts today, so three by 2k for me this morning, and then this afternoon, I uh, kind of turned up at the track knowing like I was going to be doing something a little bit different to the boys, because I'm racing in a week, um, but didn't really know for sure what it was going to be, so I ended up doing a mile tempo the boys had two by mile to begin with i just did the second one of them in five flat everyone is kind of mutually agreeing they felt pretty bad in those kind of warm-up miles i only did one of them but i i was like oh no this is going to be a tough afternoon um five flat for that uh, and then uh went into a 600 with a change of pace after 300 so went 49 through 300 and then 44 um to run 133 or 134 and then four sets of 400 30 seconds break 200 with 90 seconds between the sets um kind of ranging from like 68 down to 64 65 and like 31 down to 28 29 for the 200 then took a bit longer break put spikes on and closed the session out with a hard 600 um coming through 400 pretty solid and then trying to close hard and came through 400 in like 60 mid i had 26 high on my watch everyone well john was also timing and he he's claiming it as a 27 but uh i'm claiming 26 high and yeah so 127 for that 600 so solid workout um good day Pretty big day, um, but yeah, solid one and racing in a week. Gonna eat, chill out, um, and I need to get packing because I've got a lot to sort out before going home. It's gonna be a mission, and that's a mission. I have three days to complete. I'm flying actually in three days. Three days and 45 minutes from right now. Three days and 44 minutes. It's 6.16, and I fly at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. So um, I have... I guess 72 hours and 44 minutes to get my stuff sorted out. Squeeze it all into two suitcases. If it doesn't fit, I need to buy a third. Then I need to pay extra, check in a third suitcase. Um, I really don't want to have to do that, but we'll wait and see what happens. So, What kind of blizzard are you getting tonight? Yeah, we might go to uh, Dairy Queen. DQ, grill and chill, does not touch. If you know, you know. Um, uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been to DQ. Actually, last time I think I was in Flagstaff in April, I believe, was the last time I was at Dairy Queen. Um, some sort of chocolate fudge brownie or something. But I need to shower, cook, eat, maybe start my packing mission. And then, if we end up at Dairy Queen, it'll be an absolute treat for um, tonight. Anything else? I don't think so. <laughs>